Georgia Republican senatorial candidate Herschel Walker has consistently criticized absentee black fathers. This is a pervasive myth that has been disproven, by the way. But it turns out that uh, until now, he's never publicly acknowledged three of his own children. Earlier this week, the Daily Beast reported that Walker had a second son. And wait, there's more. Walker eventually confirmed that he has a total of four children. Happy Father's Day, Herschel Walker. In part of a statement, Walker says, I have four children, three sons and a daughter. They're not undisclosed, he says. They're my kids. I support them all and love them all. Saying I hide my children because I don't discuss them with reporters to win a campaign, that's outrageous. And scene. All right, well, joining me now to discuss this is East Atlanta Aaron Haynes, MSNBC political contributor and editor at large for the 19th. I could think of no better person to have this conversation because Aaron, of course, grew up in Atlanta uh, and covers politics all over the country. Um, first of all, can we talk about his statement? So he says that's not true, that he's been acknowledging his kids, but the receipts just don't confirm that. Um, the, according to the reporting, uh, Walker was ordered to pay child support starting in 2014. Um, it, this a whole thing came out because of a paternity suit from the mom. Um, my question is, Aaron, is this even going to matter to the MAGA base in Georgia? Well, you know, I think that um, they're probably much more concerned with his record as a UGA running back yeah. than, yes. you know, these children who were who were undisclosed, right? right? I mean, look, this is really just the latest discrepancy in his biography, right? Yes. As we continue to learn more about Herschel Walker, every fact check just keeps on turning up, <laughs> yes. you know, these, these kind of falsehoods. Now, it's again, ridiculous. undisclosed does not necessarily have to mean absentee, but yet, you know, I think it is interesting that, that he has certainly made a point repeatedly of talking about, you know, absentee fathers in the black community, certainly something that can be a, a talking point in, in, in conservative circles uh, that, that plays well with some of those voters. So, you know, the, the discrepancy between that is, is uh, pretty interesting, yeah. kind of given the dynamics of this race. Senator Warnock, obviously, uh, for people who know his biography, is a father of two. Right, exactly. Uh, but let's talk about the kid he d does choose to put out there uh, for the campaign. Um, Christian Walker, this poor child. You know, I really do. I have, like, honest-to-goodness sympathy for him because, you know, I think he uh, is confused, clearly. Take a listen to, um, and he is an adult, but he's a child of Herschel Walker, but sure. let's take a listen to what he has to say uh, about fathers. Fathers, it would be great if you stayed home and raised your kids instead of ran off to bang a bunch of women who weren't your baby mama. Stay home and raise your freaking kids. Your kids need a father. Get back home. Get back home. If you take out your thing and you get a woman pregnant, guess what? The party days are over. The acting foolish days are over. You go get a freaking job and you support your new family. I mean, I just want to tell our viewers that was not an SNL sketch. That is a real live video that Christian posted on TikTok. Sure. What do you think his relationship is like with his siblings? Uh, don't know. I mean, he's not certainly, he's certainly not interested in being undisclosed right. and, and is uh, going to be a part of this campaign, you know, whether dad has given him permission or it's not. I mean, ridiculous. clearly he's on social media. Well, I think dad has given him permission because he was at, you know, Mar-a-Lago introducing uh, Herschel Walker, saying how proud he was. We haven't seen any other kids do that. You talk about discrepancies um, in Herschel Walker's bio. Just this week, the AJC, Atlanta Journal-Constitution, debunked claims that he uh, worked in law enforcement right. and had been an FBI agent. He claimed for years to have graduated from UGA. Correct. He did not. He even had that on this campaign website, took it off. Um, he said that he graduated in the top 1% of his class. The devil is a lie. He did not. He questioned evolution. Yeah. I mean, just even science, basic. Sure. And it just drives me insane that because he's a Heisman Trophy winner, that this guy, that will be the thing that could potentially... Is, is, is Reverend Warnock in real danger here? I mean, because he is polling very well. Absolutely. I mean, listen, he, uh, Senator Warnock and Herschel Walker are locked in a tight race for the Senate. And that is not because of the Donald Trump effect, which I think a lot of the national media kind of assumed. It yeah. really is because of the SEC effect. I mean, Herschel Walker being a legendary running back at the University of Georgia is 
why he is in this conversation right now. Yeah. So, you know, to the extent that this is going to be a popularity contest, I think you are talking about uh, voters being very excited about a Herschel Walker. I mean, yeah, I mean, you talk about the discrepancies. He also claimed to have created a veterans charity that, that not only did he not help create, but that was also kind of problematic and that he was actually a paid celebrity spokesperson for. So, you know, I think uh, not only is there a question, and, and you, you've seen Senator Warnock kind of running ads on, you know, is this really who Georgia voters want? Yeah. I think, you know, you know, you know this as well as anybody. In Atlanta, you've got a business community that is very concerned about right. elected officials being able to represent them as they try to bring kind of economic investment to the state. Yeah. Is Herschel Walker really the kind of person kind of based on some of his public statements, some of his, um, you know, uh, performance on the campaign trail already? Is this somebody that you want in the room when you are trying to make multi-billion yeah. dollar, you know, investment, bring that to, to, to the state of Georgia? Or is a Senator Warnock somebody who you Is he showing to up that? to a debate with Warnock? I mean, because what, what is the debate between question. these two? Right. That is absolutely a question. We did not really see him uh, as, as, you know, on a debate stage in the primary. But, uh, you know, I think the contrast uh, between a, a Herschel Walker and a Senator Warnock on a debate stage would be pretty stark. Yeah, I don't even think the SNL writers would have to write much. Like, they could just, like, show their real coverage. Um, and then there's a question of, like, will the more moderate Republican voters, which at this point, I mean, these guys have to acknowledge right-wing extremists is the Republican Party. Mm -hmm. You know, so even folks who say, well, we're more moderate, will those folks show up to support a Herschel Walker? Some of the more suburban voters, you know, the people who might be a little more informed and engaged. I, I think time will tell, but... You know, we'll see. What do you think? We'll have to find out. Yeah. And we'll also have to see. I mean, you know, will is Donald Trump going to be a factor in that race? Do we see him come and campaign for Herschel Walker? Uh, and, and will voters who vote for, you know, Governor Kemp, for example, those moderate yeah. conservative Republicans, are those people who would also be willing to vote down ballot for somebody like a Herschel Walker? I guess time will tell.